What is up, guys? In this video, I'm going to be covering my OSCP exam horror story. And this is something that I've never talked about, surprisingly. I've never talked about this on any video, on any live stream or anything. And uh, not for any particular reason. I just never, I just never brought it up. So uh, if that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned. What's up, guys? This is Ryan from Elevate Cyber. Let's go down memory lane really quick. And so basically, you know, give you guys a little bit of context, a little background. So when you go to take your OSCP exam, I've talked about this before, but if you're not aware, uh, they'll give you first, they'll give you uh, a link to this program we need to download so that the proctor can uh, <clears throat> have access to viewing your uh, screens while you're taking the exam. And, you know, they want to look around the room just to make sure you're not collaborating on the exam and whatever else they're looking for. I'm not quite sure, but once you do all those, you know, I've done, I did all those uh, preliminary steps. Everything's good. And uh, then they gave me my connection pack and I'm ready to connect to the exam network and get started on the exam. Except for one problem. I'm not able to connect uh, with that uh, exam packet. So I was like, oh, maybe there's something wrong with this packet, right? So I'm messaging the proctor back and forth. You know, no big deal. You know, sometimes things don't work right away, right? This is OSCP. Nothing works right out of the box, right? <laughs> Maybe this is part of the exam. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I'm, I'm trying to connect. I can't. So I'm messaging the proctor back and forth. He's like, all right, let me, uh, let me give you another exam packet. And so I try that one. I'm like, all right, I got a new one. Now let's get started. I lost, uh, lost about 10 minutes. This is not going so well. Let me just go ahead and get started on this. Uh, open VPN, connect to this thing. Uh, wait. Uh, this is still not working. I still can't get into... Okay, now I'm a little bit more worried. I'm a little bit more concerned. I still haven't got to even get started on this exam yet. You know, what the heck's going on? All right, so probably, you know, two exam packets are probably not all corrupted or whatever. There's probably something else going on here. I don't know what it is. So now I'm having to use all my mental bandwidth and all my time trying to figure out how to even get connected to the network this is really going to wear on me. How am I going to pass this exam? I'm, you know, there's a little bit of, uh, of concern mounting, you know, in the back of my mind. So I'm trying to figure this out. I'm trying to, uh, do a little bit of troubleshooting here. What's going on. And, uh, so, okay. I think, you know, can I connect to the, to the regular PWK labs? Because I still had lab access at the time. So I'm like, you know, let me, let me try that. And so I can't connect to that either. I'm like, okay, so it's definitely not the exam connection packet that's the issue. There's something going on here with my with my with something else. I'm not I'm not really sure what it is. So I'm messaging I'm messaging the proctor back and forth and we're trying to troubleshoot this. We're trying to figure it out and uh you know, I try restarting my VM. Maybe there's something going on with my VM. So you know, I restart it, reboot it, good to go, and uh, still doesn't work. And I'm like, okay, this is uh, this is getting to be a bit of an issue now. I'm actually losing some time, and this is stressful, and this sucks, right? <laughs> and so we are uh, at that point. I you know where I'm still going back and forth with the proctor, just trying to get started. Like I haven't even gotten started on this stuff at this point, and I'm looking like, wow, at one hour has already gone by. This, this this is really terrible. This sucks. I've wasted one hour trying to get connected to this darn lab environment. And I'm still not, I'm still not in. But then I remember something, okay? And uh, if there's one takeaway from the video, take this from the video, please. I realized that I actually have a snapshot of my VM from a previous time when everything was working fine. All right. And so I'm like, okay, what if, you know, Hail Mary, try, what if I revert my system to this snapshot and then try and run it? Because there's something broken in my VM. My, my VM is not working. There were some other things that were weird about it that weren't working as they normally would. What great timing, right? Your VM breaks down on the day of the exam, at the point of the exam, right? Because I had used it earlier in the day. I'm pretty sure I didn't have any problems. But these are the things that can happen, right? VMs are very, you know, they're very, they can be very uh, wonky sometimes. So <laughs> count on them to fail uh, at some point on you. So take a snapshot of your machine when everything is working. That is the takeaway here. 
Fortunately for me, I did that. And so I was able to revert to that snapshot. And then when I tried it, it actually worked. I was able to connect to the box. But it was still a little bit of a nightmare in the sense that, you know, of course, I wasted a lot of time. We were a little bit over an hour into the exam at that point. And I was missing some of the tools that I had downloaded uh, between that snapshot and the present time. And so I was missing some tools and certain things that I would have to spend time. And, and there was some automation that I created that I didn't push to GitHub in a private repo or anything like that. And so I end up having to kind of recreate certain things on the exam, like recreate tool, like custom tooling for certain things, or just go without that automation altogether. So it really, uh, it was really time inefficient and it really screwed me over. Even though I did have that snapshot, I should have taken a more recent snapshot. I would have been even better off, right? I would have more of my tooling and stuff like that. So take, uh, take uh, snapshots and take them often is what I would say is the takeaway from this video. Certainly when I go back for OSCP, uh, it, it's good to get this loss in here, take this L here so that you can learn from it in the future. So I say this on the channel, uh, I have a few times, but it's definitely true. It bears uh, me repeating it. Uh, you either win or you learn. In this case, I learned, you know, it was a bad experience, but now there's certain things that I would do differently, right? I would make sure that I'm up to date on taking snapshots on my box when it is working. And so if things did break, if things went to hell, I would be able to revert it and still have all my tools. Like any of the tools that I created, if I didn't want it to be public, I would put it on a private GitHub repository. So I can just pull it down. I'd have it. It doesn't matter what happens with my VM. I would be able to have access to that tooling, right? And so thankfully, thankfully, thankfully for me, I didn't keep all my notes on a, on my VM. I know a lot of people who, who do that. They take all their notes on like cherry tree on their VM and they never push that, uh, their note sheet off of, uh, their VM. So if their VM breaks down, if they were in my situation, they'd be completely screwed. So fortunately I took my notes externally on one note and you can actually get them down in the link below. If you check out the description, absolutely for free. Uh, that'd be a great resource. If you're just, uh, if you need a little bit of that extra help, definitely there's probably some things that you can learn in there and add them to your own notes, make them your own, uh, by all means. But uh, yeah, definitely this is my uh, OSCP exam horror story that I haven't talked about. And uh, yeah, who knows? Maybe if I had a little bit more time, uh, but hey, you, you either win or you learn. And so in that case, it was definitely a learning experience. What is your exam horror story? Let me know down in the uh, uh, comments section below. I'd love to hear it. And uh, we can kind of share stories uh, on this stuff as well. And uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you guys are on this path of pursuing OSCP, or maybe it's just something you're thinking about, check out my uh, video series on what you need to know for OSCP right over here. And uh, I'll see you guys right over in those videos. Thanks for watching.